started? Well, the challenge actually started, believe it or not. I had a plan in my head to walk the bridge with the dinner stones, right? So I had a few stones at my house and I thought that was a great weight to start on and add weights on, but unfortunately, I think I hit a wall with the dinners. I got to about 305 kilos for about eight feet and I wasn't progressing. So I stopped doing that challenge and it just ended up being something that we do when my mates and that in my house. And then uh, a, a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, Charlie, who runs at IHGF down in uh, Perthshire Way, thought it would be a good event to be in there. And we called it the Nickel Walking event and that's how it all started with the IHGF. Well, the progress of the event just now is as far as it, it will go itself, you know. It's, it was amazing to be in, uh, it's amazing to be in Europe's strongest man and they're getting used in Scotland's strongest man this year. To give people an opportunity to cross the bridge to try and emulate Donald Dinney, but without the massive weight. But it's still a quarter of a tonne, so it's still a very humbling weight when you walk. The great thing about this is, there's so many things you have to think about. You know, you have to concentrate with your walk, keep yourself straight hold on to the rings, little steps, and I, I truly believe it's more of a, a battle of endurance than anything else. If you're a really fit guy, I think you'll do really well with it. If you're not fit, you're not gonna do well with it. Definitely not. I ended up being here because at Blair Gowrie at the IHGF, it's on grass, but to do it, and it kinda almost resembles Blair Gowrie in its way it dips in that. And because Mark Felix came up here, it has to really be here now, and it's beside the history of the Dinner Stones, so a better place to do it, you know what I mean? If you can get to this, the 20 metres here without dropping them, I would do what Mark Felix said he was going to do, just put them down, turn round up, alternative hands and just go again. Right? That's, that's fair, if I get all that yeah, way without dropping Yeah, but I think he was, yeah, definitely. I love his yeah. confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a go will give me a good idea, and we'll yeah. see. Hopefully it'll go well first time, no, but I if it doesn't, it I think yep. I can learn from it. Yep. <laughs> well, it's all fun, come on. It needs to be fun. Yeah, of course it does, it makes it better. Yeah. yeah. Who's going up first? Me. Come on, James. Come on, come on. Come on James. Come on. Get real nice. come on. Come on, James. Come on. Big drive, come on, big drive. Come on. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on. Steady steps. That's good. good. Keep your chin up. Don't forget the breathe. Keep her upright. Keep That's come it. on, man. Come on. Keep her going. Easy. Come on, easy. Oh, get, to those, get to those get to those three posts. Good. Keep get going. Get to those posts. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Ah. Steady it. Steady it. Steady it. That's it. Yes, right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. One. Two. Take your time. Use the ten, ten three, seconds. Three. Four. It all. Use it all. Five. Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. Yes. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. come on! Come on! Come on, James. That's it. Come on! Come on! Come on, come on James! Head up! Head up! That's awesome! Come on, James! 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 Come on, Don't set the line! Don't let set the line! Yes! Well yes. done! Well done! Do it in feet still. Right. 28 feet, 7 inches. Wow. Well done, Paul. Nice. Right, so that's in metres. It is uh, meters 8 metres 70. Well done. Oh, yeah. Managed yeah. to kick it. So I thought, oh, I'm going to be that guy that takes one, one and a half steps. I was like, oh, no. Managed to sort that out. You know, I talked to you about it wasn't my grip. No. It's like my neck and my traps. And I know what you're saying about keeping your head up. Yeah. If I, I do that, I'm going to misstep. <laughs> you know, I'm real cross, how, it's uneven, I'm like... See how the expert like, does. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's fine, that's perfect. That's right, and yeah. that's... Right. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. As long as the weld's out your hand, Lawrence. Where's the weld? Right, it's there, perfect. Yeah. There it was. Come on then, Lawrence. Come on, pick up. Come on, Lawrence. There we go. Come on, up! Get up! Easy. All day, brother. All day. Nice and steady, good man. Come on! Come on. That's it, that's it. That's it, right. Easy. Shoulder press. All day, that's it. Awesome. Get the breeze. Come on. Good man. Steady, steady, steady. Come on. Come on. Get in the zone. Come on. 
Come on, Come on, Come on, Keep that core tight. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, You don't drop it. Keep it going. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, just take Seven. a 10 seconds launch. 8, 9, Eight. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Same again! No. I am... Um, Is it alright? Okay. Yeah, alright, okay. So, we can. It's alright. Don't want to risk it. Okay, fine. Good attempt so far. There's no space for me, I'm too big. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we just completed the Nichols walking challenge. And, uh, and yeah, definitely pleased that I was able to kind of practice and, and train in the gym with the loading pins to kind of emulate the challenge. But there's there's a lot of things that are different here than in the training environment. So uh, so one, we're on grass, the, the floor's uneven. Before we started the challenge, the heavens opened up and it started raining so much. And we we're thinking, oh my God, now we're doing it on you know, the wet grass is going to be even softer. The handles are going to get wet. So, so you have all these things in your head that are already going against you in a challenge where, you know, you're kind of stepping up to these stones knowing that you're going to empty yourself and that you're going to basically fail. You know, you're, you're going to uh, kind of collapse at some point. And so, uh, so yeah, no, it, was, it was really good to have Lawrence here. He's obviously a lot more experienced than me talking to us about yeah just getting ready mentally and, and talking to the guys that are more experienced than us with the stones and then it was like right just you know stop thinking about it too much and try and empty the tank and that's that's kind of what i just kept saying to myself so the first few steps are where you're learning a million lessons every time you're taking a step just trying to work out the balance and how how these stones are swinging smashing against your legs just trying to trip you up and obviously they're they're over three times my body weight so when they were hitting my legs it it really was very hard to adjust for that but i managed to kind of find find enough energy to make a decent distance i was very happy with how how it went you know i didn't make any mistakes kind of thing there was no technical issues so it really was that was my best effort without any doubt i didn't have i didn't have an extra inch you know to give so uh, so really happy amazing challenge and, and a nice thing to train towards and come up you know to scotland and have the weather and have have all the guys in the kilts and felt really authentic and, and talking to brett obviously is really passionate about lifting rocks but obviously he's got all the stories behind it as well so it's been a great day amazing to see you know lawrence hit it and uh, some of the local guys hitting it as well so yeah, we've had an awesome time and uh yeah i reckon uh, i'll have to come back and yeah, come back up with uh, with brett and lift some of the other stones that he's got in his backyard